Yo, yo, yo. We're back at it again. We're back at it again. You know the deal. I'm going to spend like five minutes setting this up, you know. Um, just the usual stuff. Let's play some tunes. Let's rock out with some tunes by Goda, who's goaded. Well, I'm going to do some goaded dueling on here. But, you know, we're going to be rocking out with the... Uh, Reverse the Limit, a classic series, beloved by many. Um, if you remember the last episode, which you all should, of course, we decided to cook with Limit Reverse, which is a very underrated card. So let me, let me blast this bad boy out every Discord. If you share this with five people, uh, you get a custom custom coaching session or something. I don't fucking know. It, it gets something. Run it, run it, run it. So I've been playing a little bit on this account. And I've been cooking, let's just say. I think I've only lost twice, which is, you know, pretty good. <sighs> welcome, welcome, the many, the many attendees. Um, as we were just speaking about, we're reversing the limit, boys and girls. Is this fine? The volume all good? Chime in. Please let me know. Please let me know. We're cooking. Yes, Mayberry, we're, we're obviously cooking. We're gonna keep cooking. I don't really see any, uh, any reason to stop cooking. So this is the deck that I've been, uh, I've been rocking with. Kind of a, a, if you were here for our last episode, which obviously you should have been, um, this is a Limit Reverse based deck, it's a Limit Reverse based series, I'm only playing Limit Reverse on this account, um, and, hold on, let's set the, um, and, okay, I think the music maybe needs to be a little bit down, alright, alright, <clears throat> okay, we're back locked in. So basically, this is the Limit Reverse deck. We've been cooking on it, but I think it's pretty similar to where I left off last time. I did a few like iterations in that stream alone. Um, and I honestly like where it's ended up. I think maybe I could get into dropping a Pot of Avarice, but as far as like the Neospatian Plant Limit Reverse deck, this is, I feel like, as good as it gets. You know, there's, there's stuff. There's for sure stuff that I could do, but I'm not really gonna worry about it too much. It honestly is good. Like, Arma Send Cross Border is a good opening play. It gets you cards in hand for the Wind Blast. And then, uh, I think I did it on stream the last time, but I was able to uh, Limit Reverse back the Consecrated like multiple times against Blackwing. It was actually, I would say, fairly cooked. I would say it was well cooked. Um, this deck seems good to lose to DV. Yes, you're right, Ludovica Rizzo. Um, I, I feel I haven't really heard of. I feel like maybe you're maybe a more unknown player, newer to the scene. But um, I would agree that this deck gets hit very hard by DDB. Um, and if they flip DDB on it on me, I will probably just lose. Although, funnily enough, even though you bring up a good point about the DDB uh, in our last stream, which you should have tuned in for. I got DDV turn one twice, two different players, and I won both those. So, you know, we uh, we persevere. But, you know, we're playing Limit Reverse, which is a card that revives less than a thousand attack monsters. So we're gonna be playing a lot of a thousand attack monsters. Probably all those decks will somehow lose to DDV. So, you know, it sort of just comes to the territory. Um, it, you know, these are more casual oriented decks for sure like but i still want to make them as competitive as possible so you know sometimes we get what we get so today we're going to be working with um an express roid concept um we're going to get some wins asap express delivered um and i cooked a little bit on my own solo cooking sorry to to do it without you guys but i know that there have been some roid decks with like the Ryko engine i think one topped it played hamster i believe um but what they didn't see coming was limit reverse 
Um, express raid triggers anytime it's summoned, not just normal summoned. So you could maybe limit reverse, get back express roid, uh, get back two guys, and then you pitch those guys for fortress and they answer the fortress, but you just keep pitching. Endless pitches, pitches forever. Um, and hopefully you get roids engraved with Raiko. The roids are pretty bad. I don't know if I need this many under level four roids. Express roid can't target itself, unfortunately. Um, but really the guy that we want to target is armor roid because um, he's a level eight. Um, I think trade in is maybe a consideration. Scrap recycler can also send some of these and recycle all these guys. But uh, I haven't played a match with this deck yet. I did go 18 and two with the other deck. So let me, let me concoct a quick sideboard here. Um, I don't know why I'm putting Iron Chain Dragon, but so you guys can kind of soak soak this deck in. Um, I think Plague is maybe a, a card I would consider as well, um, but uh, let's throw Plague in. I, I don't love playing 43, but if you recall, if you're here for our last session, um, this is sort of where we start. I think I had like 46 cards in that version or something. Um, and we whittle it down over time. Uh, I think I want a side deck like Gores, maybe. Eh, Gores, as we discussed last time, not that good with so many continuous traps. Uh, Chimeratic. We don't want to get Chimeratic, but... Uh, probably some Cyber Dragons. Maybe a Stardust. Adding a side deck by mistake. Uh, Stardust, Colossal, Cataster, Armory Arm. All the usual suspects. We have Black Rose. Trag in the main. Yeah, I was thinking about Trag. It was it was okay in the other list, but I think I want to rock with... I don't think I want to have Trag. The Machine Dupe is also very sus. Like, duping the Expressoroid, even though it's a target, doesn't really do anything. Future Fusion to send the armor rides. I mean, uh, armor ride is not a, a equipment for anything, right? Armor ride. Like, what are the what's the roid fusion? Super vehicle jumbo drill. If I'm not mistaken. Pair psychroid. I don't think that card's legal. Uh, steam gyroid, or yeah, yeah, chimera tech. I, I, yeah, I get what you meant. Okay, so this one has to send. I mean, I could play a submarine roid and use future fusion, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't want to do any of that. Um, Let's let's cook with this for now, and if it if I feel like I want the more power, then I, I'll I'll go with it. Um, the extra space is super free, so I'm gonna add this in case you brain control the zombie master, or whatever. Um, let's do an android, maybe. Maybe a worm, mist worm. I don't really know how that's gonna come up, but colossal. I'd say multiple armory armor is probably not the worst thing, but oh god, him. So let's go with that guy. Uh, maybe okay, a thought ruler. Yeah, I think I think multiple army armor is not that worse because we can limit reverse back our. If you're just joining, we're reversing the limit all day and forever. I'm gonna be only laddering with this stupid limit reverse deck. This is edition two after our first one was a resounding success. Um, I'm gonna stick with the old favorites that, that worked well in my old list. It's true, Consecrated Light. I might do Starlight Road. Um, I would really like a world in which I don't get blown out by Chimera Tech. Um, so, you know, there's cards that people use. There's like Zombie World to stop that from happening. That is kind of mid, but 
It stops Scrap Recycler from being able to target your own shit, but I always did like this. Ooh, and I could really use the Doom Geyser in the side. How do you like that one? If I get that off, I'll be cooking. Uh, maybe like one Dust Tornado. You think these ratios are not... Uh... Ooh, how about Barrier Stash? You know, I think I thought of that in the last video too. Um, how about Barrier Statue? Barrier Statue of Earth? I don't hate it. You might be cooking. Let's cook a little bit with that one. Two? Two Barrier Statue of Earth? Fuck it. I like that. I like that idea. I thought about it for the last one because they're all limit reverse targets, but um, one of the problems is you limit reverse it back and uh, they... You can't switch it to defense, so they can still cra crash it with Swap Rock. But no matter. Um, maybe a my card. What cards? What are people side against Machina. Oh, like Iron Wall? I could do Iron Wall. That's probably good here, right? This is probably like one of the best decks at using Iron Wall. Um. Um, what would I have a hard time with? Heroes might, I mean, heroes just feel like they fold to this, but still kind of annoying. Uh, what would actually give this deck a hard time? I mean, maybe a crow, uh, some amount of crows in the sideboard, although it's like Iron Wall Crow is kind of funny. Maybe one and that. Maybe just a mirror for us. All right, I think I think we're gonna rock with this. I'm not gonna think about it too hard. Am I just gonna get completely soloed by like a dupe block? I don't really have that many good ways to out it. What do these kind of decks do to out dupe block? Nothing, right? They just lose. All right, well, I'm just gonna rock with it because we're spending too much time, too much time. Oh, Torrential, did, what, did I main Torrential on this? Yeah, Torrential would be good. Maybe I just don't really need, uh, Possible Trendle should just be mained, because it does work well with the Peacekeeper. <laughs> Let's try with this. Needle, maybe? Yeah, Needle is okay. Um, what was I trying to show before? Yeah, so I went 18 and 2, which is kind of... kind of good. I think I lost to a hero player, but I, I made a mistake. And then I lost once on the stream last time, which I also made a mistake, but I'm just gonna get right in there. Probably someone gonna stream snipe as as goes. So if one of you is Madar Chair, four, five, six, seven, don't look, please. And also mute it, because I'm gonna be talking about my hand as well. But if you're here, if you're rocking with me, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Versus the limit, you know the vibes. The limit, it's not going to say what it is. It's probably going to get reversed, I would say. Um, so this guy's going to lead off with some just setting cards, which is always very stressful. But luckily, we have a pretty good hand. Um, you know, gear into another fortress is pretty solid. Trooper mill is also pretty solid. Um, I'm probably more inclined to just do that. Yeah. Mill scrap, a book, and a Raiko. Really nothing of much value.
reason I did this, I, I didn't really have a lead on the gear frame and hit into a hamster. Um, and if I can get the solemn down, then it's like, it, it makes for a much bigger push on the following turn where I can gear and fortress or potentially double fortress depending on what I draw. Oh, this guy, this guy is extremely new. So we're going to go easy on him. Who are we kidding? Oh, okay, okay. I hate this. No one, no one plays Spy, but every time you run into it, it's like the most damaging thing. Now it's like, what, what do I do? He's going to get Descendant. I can't really set Solemn. And then if he has like Arabellum or Cat or whatever, I'm just mega, mega down bad. That's also extremely bad. Okay. We're about to see how this deck's Flamvel matchup is. Okay, draw something fairly useless. Any of those traps would be nice. 14, yeah. It's pretty insulated from gores, honestly, because you can just descend in. If he has a rekindling to follow this up to, he can make double eight. Eh, I feel like he might have the rekindling. <laughs> okay, okay. He seems to have sort of punished my play there. Okay, so he just sets another. All right. So this is sort of where, where it separates the boys from the men. Um, so I need to crack this board, right? So if I go gear, It probably is double double fortress just because not double fortress but like I want to have one engrave in case one gets bottomless or whatever. Uh, I could have maybe summoned both and just risk the might be better. Okay, so we had Mirror Force, very nice. Awesome, awesome. If... Seems as though I will lose. All right, well, <laughs> that went about as poorly as it possibly could. So, you know, we're just off to a good start here. Um, I feel like the other, ma the other time I streamed it kind of went the same way, so I guess that's how it goes. Um, so he's on rekindling. That was rough. That was rough.com. Drill Red might go crazy though. Um, probably this. Might need more, maybe like a more generic card like Dust Chando is better than something like a Trooper or a, a Steamroid even. That's fine. No way he can do it twice. Well said, Goat Format. Well said, GoatFormat.com, the user. Um, probably just getting the Raikou down is good. Otherwise, I'm too exposed to the um, Fire Dog. I think this is fine.
Hmm. I could have maybe a. Uh... Well, I could pitch the peacekeeper and then get it back with limit reverse. I'm not thinking about this kind of synergy. I, I unironically, no bullshit, no stream, no streamer cap. Um. This is kind of why I like doing something like this, because you do really learn how to play the deck as you go. It's like, I wouldn't have really thought about this, like, pitch a thing, get it back, chain to removal interaction. Oh, this guy thinks he's so fucking good. I hate, I hate, I hate people. I hate Mad Char, Mad Char, four, five, six, seven. This guy lost his first match, and he's already trying to do fucking trick shot plays, attack my Raiko. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this. And I think I am gonna swing. He can gorge me. It's allowed. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, you might argue that this was a stupid play, and 